Oh, Crimson One, preserve me. It seems the faculty has chosen to place the two of us together for this divination project. Although, I dare say the two of us being placed together after our conversation the other day may just be a sign from the Crimson One. A sign that we belong at each other's sides. Out of all the students I could have been placed with. Not House Estral. Not the boy from House Vindictine. No. Of all of the people I could have been placed with. It was you. It had. To be you. You know, outsider, at this point, we've only had the opportunity to observe one another's skills from a distance. Why not take this opportunity to get a closer look at one another? I'm sure there's plenty you could learn from me. And I'm not above admitting that you surprised me in our necromancy class. And you continue to impress. But let's see if you can continue that run. I understand that you're still trying to decide whether or not you wish to be my counsel while we're here. Perhaps this exercise might be just what you need to enhance your perspective. Did you note the specifics of the task we were set? <sighs> of course not. Typical. If you don't make a note of what is asked of you, you are bound to forget crucial details, especially if you are relying solely on memory. Just now, you might be a potential counsel for me. But by no means will I allow you to derail this project and jeopardize my chances at the Academy. But since you have asked, Oh, so nicely. I will remind you once of what our task is. The two of us are to work as a duo. One will read the other's future. One of us will select the method that the future is read with, the other will then use that method to read the first's future. The person whose future is read 
then keeps a note of what their reading was, and in three weeks' time, we reconvene and are informed of how accurate that prediction was. It is almost a form of feedback, as that dear demon put it. <laughs> Who is going to be reading whom's future? Well, I think that is rather obvious. It's going to be me reading your future. <laughs> Why? Oh, you do ask the silliest questions. My future is set in stone. If you were to read my future, all it would be is perfect grades, perfect attendance, and you could even go far, far into the distant years and say, Fendel, you will be the greatest high overseer the Rapturian theocracy has ever known. You shall graduate top of the academy before assuming that position and become one of the most powerful individuals Rapture has ever known. <laughs> I don't think stating the obvious is quite reading the future. <laughs> Now, now, I won't argue this point. You simply need to worry about picking the method. Rather than any type of argument. Now, what do we have here? We have... a set of golden trimmed tarot cards. <laughs> a You can hold on to this. <clears throat> and finally, some sort of tea leaves. Although, from the looks of these, we'd have a better chance of reading the future by burning them and huffing the vapors. <laughs> Still, your choice. Well, the tarot cards it is. Now... Before I start, you will have to forgive me slightly. Divination is not my specialty by any means. But out of the three options, tarot cards are probably my lesser of those evils. Mm. 
you know. Let's have some fun. <laughs> yes, fun. I'm not incapable of it, in case you uh, couldn't tell. I may keep a strict demeanor, but I'm not against the occasional piece of revelry. <laughs> Why not do a love reading? <laughs> oh, I'm sure it will be very insightful for you. It will be a simple three card relationship spread. A little bit of what your romantic past looks like, what the romantic present is, and what your romantic future could be. <laughs> uh, well, with no serious objections, let us get started. First things first, I need you to tap the cards, brush the old energy off of them, and uh, place a little piece of your own. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't bite. Thank you. A quick shuffle. You know, I'm actually a rather deft hand at handling cards. I used to uh, play a hand or two with the sons of some of the other blessed families at my father's estate. <laughs> I never did like to lose. <laughs> if only there was a way to win with tarot cards. But I think that's enough. Pick three, and lay them out in any order you wish. Very good. Very good indeed. Well, if you're feeling up to it, what say we turn the first card over? <sighs> you. This card represents you. How you perceive yourself, and how you perceive yourself in a partnership. <laughs> the Six of Cups. Very interesting. It's a happy meeting between past and present. You hold a sense of nostalgia for times long ago. The memories are engrossing and 
Sometimes you even forget the present. But what's important is for you not to lose sight of the future. You strive to find a happy medium. But you're still searching. <laughs> Next on the chopping block. The dynamic you are looking for. <laughs> well. The Three of Wands. <laughs> oh, I see. You're looking for someone who helps you chase your dreams, transform them into action. Someone to help you over the obstacles in your path. As the two of you remain dedicated to your pursuits. Side by side. Supporting one another. <laughs> now to me that sounds like an offer I can't refuse. Two partners, ready to traverse any boundaries. And then, finally, the partner card. What is their role in the relationship, and... How do you perceive them? <sighs> oh. Uh, the Three of Swords. Uh, reversed. Sorry, I, um, I'm having a bit of a moment. Um, uh, how do I read cards again? <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. <laughs> I said divination wasn't my strongest suit. The Three of Swords reversed. The one who you're looking for pain and suffering has been following them their whole life but they're now in a state to cultivate a future and though others have done them wrong The two of you will show great strength to forgive and continue on with your lives together. Basing choices around creativity, growth, and expression. Well, <laughs> those are the three cards. Those are, that is, your reading. Well, uh, keep a note and 
I suppose we will have another meeting in a few weeks to go over what you found. Um, I need to uh, go think on some things. Stay safe, outsider.